this large vacant lot in Ranson will soon be humming with construction equipment. The former site of a brass foundry, it's about to become the centerpiece of the town's revitalization efforts with a mixed use commercial and residential development. 2005, the city had a choice to sit back and let this site get wrapped with chain link fence and to just rot and go to dust or to be proactive and work with the property owner to seek a redevelopment opportunity for it. So as we sit here, we are in the dead center of the historic center of the city. So being in the middle of town, this is a premier real estate site. And somebody with a vision of the city council uh, really is what it takes to take one of these sites from a brownfield to go through the remediation and vision it and plan it for something as incredible as a mixed use development. The five and a half acre site will be fronted by commercial business space with more than 100 single family townhomes being built on the remainder of the property. The project is no stranger to the DEP's voluntary remediation program. The DEP's been involved with uh, this site, the Kitty Ranson uh, VRP site for a while. Uh, this is actually the second time it's come through the program. First time it came through in 2010 and the larger foundry site behind us was remediated to commercial. Uh, standards or industrial standards. Uh, the two former residential lots across the street that had been impacted by groundwater, uh, they were remediated to residential. So when development plans started to unfold, um, the city of Ransom brought it back into the VRP for a second time, all as one site instead of three separate parcels. Uh, this time the whole thing is being remediated to residential. That way it will fit more with the development plans that the city has for the site. The project is being developed by a local group. You're from here. What's it like to, to be able to see something going back up on the spot? It's good. I, I actually worked here as a kid. Um, when I was 18 years old, I worked at the, the old foundry. Um, it's good to see. It's going to be a good uh, project for the community, and it'll, it'll bring a lot of revenue to the city of Ranson, both in taxes and, and uh, business-wise. City leaders say a large production builder has made a letter of intent to purchase the first 60 homes built on the site. The developers hope to begin work in the coming months once all the necessary permits are in place. At this point, we're, we're down to uh, reviewing the risk assessment and the remedial action work plan. Uh, from there, any remediation, if there's anything else uh, other than cap and cover that has to be done, that would take place. Um, then they would submit their remedial action completion report, followed by the final report, and then just the certificate of completion. I'm frankly ecstatic. Our mayor is ecstatic about this. Um, talking to council members and talking to residents that knew this as, the, as a foundry, as a brass foundry, and for years and years we're told that just this plan that was drawn up will eventually be built. They're now seeing that. So that's very exciting. And being a, a planner and working with development, it's always great to see a shovel come in the ground because in a very short time, we're not going to have just a development. We're going to have a real community here that's going to be populated with hundreds of residents. Construction is expected to be completed within two years. For Environment Matters, I'm Mike Huff in Ranson. Thanks for watching.